Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Manafa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. Today we have a very special episode of our Throwback Thursday series featuring the one and only Black Panther. We're gonna pay a small tribute to the great actor Chadwick Boseman for his great contribution and awesome career and I really hope you enjoy this video. But before we start, if this is your first time here and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases and posting videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. With all that out of the way, let's start with the unboxing experience, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, and here we have the packaging and as you can see we have a very nice picture of Black Panther in the middle with the logos here. This is the side of the box and this is the back with all the credits and warnings, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box, this is the bottom. And last but not least, this is the top with the Black Panther logo. So that's pretty cool, very nice box. So let me open this up and take a better look at the figure. So let me remove this and we have a cover that says cast and crew information. So as you can see, we have a nice picture of the Black Panther there. And that's basically it. So let me open this up so you can take a look at the figure, how you'll see it in the packaging. So let me remove this and here we have Black Panther and all the accessories. So let me show you a little bit closer. So we have the head sculpt, the hands, the dagger, and of course the base. So what I'm going to do next is take everything out and take a look at the figure. And here we have Black Panther and taking a closer look, you can see the details on the face. It is just insane. You can see those patterns and those um, gray lines on the side as well as the detail on the ears. Now this is the back and we have some signs here in the back as you can see like uh, some type of, um, I guess, wording, encryptions. Uh, this is the other side. And last but not least, this is the front. You can see very nice detail. And this is the top. Very cool. Very nicely done. Now, this is the color here. And just be very careful because this is glued together to the suit. So just make sure that when you handle it, be careful because you don't want to remove those pieces. Now, moving down to the suit, you can see more patterns in the front as well as the abs. Very nicely done. And this is the side with more um, silver patterns on the side. And this is the arms with a very soft suit. I don't know if this is going to be very durable, but I will be very careful if I post this figure. Now, moving down to the hand, you can see a very nicely sculpted as well as the, those details on the nails. Now, this is the bottom of the figure. You can see more details, more gray patterns on the legs as well as the feet. You can see those nails very nicely painted. Now this is the side and of course the pattern with the marble logo there. Now this is the back. Um, now the patterns on the suit are designed especially for the UV lights, which unfortunately I would not be able to turn it on because I have batteries and you know, I didn't want to go to the store to get them. <laughs> After work, I'm tired. <laughs> this is the back of the figure and that's basically it. Now let's do some articulation, shall we? You can move the head up this much, down this much, to the sides this much. Now for the arm, you can lift it about this much and just be careful with the suit. As I said before, you don't want to leave it in those poses all the time. So once we on the bicep, you can move the arm forward about this much and of course back for about this much. Maybe more if you want to push it. Not a big deal. Now for the torso. You have some some ab crunch here and a little bit of swivel. So it's really not that bad. You know, it's a little limited because of the suit. Now you can do a split for about that much. And again, just be careful with the material. Some swivel on the thighs, which is not bad. You can lift the leg forward for about this much. And of course, back for about this much. Not bad. Now for the knee, you can bend it about this much. And again, it's a double joint, so just be careful with the suit so you don't want to damage it. And last but not least, we have the ankle pivot. You can move it to the side about this much, up and down, and of course, the classic toe articulation. And that's basically it for this. Now, what I'm going to do next is show you a closer look at the head sculpt. And here we have the head sculpt, guys, and I have to tell you, this looks amazing. I mean, the likeness of Chadwick Boseman, in my opinion, is on point. This is the side of the head sculpt. As you can see, we have the uh, sculpted hair, very nicely painted as well. And this is the side 
Now, the more I see this figure, the more I appreciate having this figure in my collection. And honestly, if you have it in hand, please keep it. Now, what I'm going to do next is do some comparisons. And here we have Black Panther next to Bucky Barnes. And as you can see, pretty much the same height. The next one, we have Captain America from Infinity War. And also, I think Captain America is a bit taller. Last but not least, we have Black Widow from Endgame. So they look pretty cool together. Now, let's take a look at the accessories. Starting with the base, you can see a nice uh, Black Panther logo there. with The name tag here in the front with the ports where you connect the USB lights. This is the on and off switch. And of course, the batteries at the bottom. And that's basically it for the display base. Now, this one also comes with a nice, very cool dagger. And as you can see, we have nice patterns in the handle with a golden and gray. And of course, the feathers hanging in there. So very cool. Now, the next piece is the uh, interchangeable eyes. And honestly, I really like the paint application and how this uh, looks. And it's very easy to put on and off, so no worries. Now, it comes with five hands. So starting with this one here, this is the one that you use to hold the dagger. And I really like the paint application as well as the sculpted gloves. And this one ha here has the, the claws and very nicely painted as well on the nails. Very pointy, so just be careful. And that's basically it for the hands. Now, this one also comes with a nice backdrop. And this one here, when you put the UV lights next to it, it will sort of illuminate. So it will look very cool if you uh, turn that on. Now, last but not least, we have this uh, UV lights um, feature here. And very nice pattern on the side as well. And it comes with a lot of little lights. And at the bottom, you have those uh, cables that you connect to the base. So that goes in there. So this is going to take me to my final thoughts about this figure. I'm very, very impressed with this figure. And honestly, I don't know why it took me so long to review this guy, but glad I did. The suit is on point. I mean, the amount of detail on the suit is just insane. The decent amount of accessories, especially the UV lights, the articulation that is somehow decent. And of course, the likeness on the head sculpt. And the fact that you can put this figure in two different looks, one with the mask and one without it, it is hands down one of the best representations of Black Panther in the market. And this final score is dedicated to the great Chadwick Boseman because of his great contribution as an actor, but especially as a human being, the final score is 10 out of 10. And if you made it this far, please don't forget to like, and subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, both links in the description below. Also, check out our new Facebook group, Six Scale Media, for anything related one Six Scale figures. The link also in the description below. And if you have some time, please check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well, and see you around in the next video.